thanks everybody for joining me one from your patient to you thank you for subscribing thank you for tuning in brilliant as promised the one and only Shaga okay there's a lot to get through so we're going to start immediately Shaga has been around for a long long time as you can see Shaga is a mushroom it's called an endophytic mushroom as it grows on trees now that is really really solid that is solid it contains part of the wood from a birch tree now where do I start there's so much to get through guys where do I start okay if you didn't know it the most medicinal tree on the planet is a birch tree that's why you see animals feeding on the bark constantly if you have a forest of birch trees you have less bacteria and microbes than you would in an operating theatre fact unbelievable eh? Uh, so the birch tree has medicinal properties the shaga which is a Russian name come to that in the spelling in a minute the shaga grows on the tree and it's full of many many phytonutrients and special chemicals which I'll come on to it magnifies the medicine of the tree many hundreds and hundreds of times that's why it's so medicinal it is without doubt the most powerful mushroom known to man the problem is at the minute there's a few people finding out and the prices have gone through the roof okay let's take the story now you know about what tree it grows on right let's and I want to thank a friend for this as you can see I have a bowl of this I've been using it for tea what you actually do with this is you boil tea with it I've been using it for tea for many many months there's a lot more inside as well then when you've used it for tea and you've expelled it you can then extract the triterpenoids and the betulinic acid from it and you can make a um, tincture like this one I always use it for tea first and it lasts many 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 months and many boils and uh, then I always tincture it and extract it for the people who follow me on the Facebook page you will have seen the pictures of me making this hopefully if you follow me on the Facebook page so it's worth that one you can find that one on the page Facebook page if you go on my Facebook you'll see it right where was I go back to okay let's just explain it's only you'll only find this in one in 5,000 trees it's rare it is very rare like I say I'd like to thank a friend of mine who lives over the road Robert if you're watching thanks because Robert got me this he'd seen it on my stove and uh, he came home one day and said wow I think I've seen some of that funny stuff you drink that grows on trees and I said oh yeah and uh, I lent him a few tools and he came back with this and that was a good six months ago as you can see solid as anything right solid absolutely solid with that said let's go back to Russia in the 12th century where the czars were using it as a cancer cure it's always had it's always been known as a very very effective cancer cure up until when the pharmaceutical industry started to get into Russia in the um, 70s I would say so it was officially known by the Russian government in 1955 it was declared as a cancer treatment it is that powerful 
Now, if you've seen my video, guys, if you've seen the video I did on Ami Odoron, the Ami Odoron thing, which I was talking about, that stops the production of melanin, the art drug, the anti-arrhythmia drug for art patients. Um, if you haven't watched it, watch it because it's of prime importance to you if you're an art patient. If you're not, it'd still be really, really interesting. That, that led me to how you could bring about more melanin into my body. Now, when I spoke about um, amiodarone, I was also went on to talk about melanin and what melanin does and how protective it is. And I was talking about, in the same video, if you look for it, I was talking about um, ultra-fast internal conversion with melanin protecting DNA. DNA is vital for your reproduction and your life. When the DNA, st well we won't go into that now, but I'll talk about that another time. Right? Okay. What's in this that makes it so special? Well, all the important trace minerals are in it. Barium, bismuth, boron, silica, manganese. Now, if you watch my video on garlic, a poor man's penicillin, I spoke about sulfur and manganese. And uh, the interesting thing about manganese is, is you need manganese, it's a precursor. Whenever I mention the word a precursor, it's like what the body needs or what something needs to make some from it. Okay? Uh, a precursor. So you need manganese to make superoxide dismutase. Now when I was talking about poor man's penicillin I was telling you that superoxide dismutase uh, is really really fantastic powerful um, antioxidant and um, I was talking about spoke about antioxidants time and time again now right they stop a chain reaction and they give an electron up. So, one of the most powerful antioxidants on the planet is this stuff, right? Now, it's got, there's just so much to say about this, guys. I could literally go on for hours and hours and hours and hours, and I haven't got, I can't really do that because there's so many other things involved in being healthy. Okay, this will increase your melanin if you drink three cups of tea a day this will increase your melanin and it will change your air colour and your eye colour like I said it won't change your eye colour from blue, from blue to brown it will make the colour darker and more prolific it will do the same to your air and your skin okay if you want the best suntan you've ever had in your life I can, I, I will say, get some chaga, drink three cups of the tea a day before you go on holiday and continue doing it while you're on holiday. You will have the absolute best suntan you will ever have in your life. The re it also works with a sunbed. The reason being is because the melanin in chaga is almost identical to the melanin you produce amazing like I say it only grows on one in five thousand trees it's rare which makes it very very expensive now a kilogram of chaga well 200 uh, milligrams of chaga will cost you about expect to pay 15 pound for 200 milligrams you can imagine and I've got more in the house. You can imagine how much money's worth I actually have here. Do you know, it's it's it really is so expensive. Um, now the word is getting out, so now you know. Okay, it's also got it's also got amino acids in as well. So it's got uh, full spectrum amino acids. It contains uh, vitamin B2, um, th uh, riboflavin, yeah, riboflavin, vitamin B2, and it contains vitamin D2. 
um, which is called um, ergost ergosterol. Ergosterol, vitamin B2 is ergosterol. Vitamin B2, a lot of people don't know this, but this is important. Again, I learnt all this from getting burnt by amiodrone. I told you how far amiodrone pushed me. Um, vitamin B2, ergosterol, gets converted into viosterol by ultraviolet light. And it's, it's viosterol in the bloodstream that brings about an immunity. Um, and a lot of people also don't know that vitamin D um, obviously it needs calcium to be absorbed as well and there's a lot going on but vitamin D stops 77 percent of all cancers all cancers across the board so this contains uh, D2 ergosterol or ergosterol it gets converted into viosterol and uh, ramps up your immune system now, while I'm on the subject of the immune system, I mean this is so intense. This is there's so much to say about chaga. Now, the spelling, the spelling is that. If you can imagine the Russian spelling, there's a TS in front. All the British have done is not the TS from the front, right? It only exists in northern hemisphere countries. It loves the cold. Okay, it loves the cold. Um, like I say, I was a very lucky lad, there's a forest not too far from here and uh, my good friend Rob, seeing what was on my stove and what used to cost me because I used to say to Rob how much how expensive sugar was and uh, luckily we did a nice exchange deal. Got to thank Rob for that. This one's uh, spent and that's how it looks. When it's on the tree, it looks like someone burnt the tree so at some point in your life when you were in a forest you've probably seen this okay now if you're gonna go out in the wild and look for it don't chop the trees apart okay don't chop the trees apart right um, just take a little piece and it will last you for months take enough for your own experiment but don't be greedy and I totally disagree with the people who sell it. I've got to say, it's so valuable, and it's so valuable, it plays a serious part in nature. It's endoph endophytic on the tree. It's not a parasite on the tree, right? It's a pure medicine. It lives with the tree and within the tree. As you can see, uh, what makes it so active is the beta-glucans. Now, beta-glucans are polysaccharides made from carbohydrates. And there you can see the fibrous. You can see it, the beta-glucans. Now, this particular piece of chaga is probably 15, 20 years old, this particular piece here. It was quite large. I was a very lucky guy. And like I said, thank Rob for that. Um, if you do go out in the wild looking for it, just take enough. It'll last a long, long time, and you get, you'll get, you'll be able to exhaust it for at least six or seven months, making tea from it. And then, if you go on the Facebook page, then you can extract the betulinic acid and the triterpenoids, which are in the oil. Uh, when you first make a tea out of it, it's like a drink of engine oil it's that thick it's unbelievable 